Hello and welcome to Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix. We're back with all of the Street Fighters, looking at almost every single Street Fighter game. And we've gone back in time a few years this time. We're back in 1997. We're in the arcades and we're looking at Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix, which is known as Pocket Fighter in Japan. Uh, I quite like Pocket Fighter, but I think Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix is a better title. Uh, it's more it's more Street Fightery. A lo stupid long title that's got a subtitle in it as well. Uh, completely stupid. This game's also got the most anime intro of any Street Fighter game. I love it. <laughs> it's really cool, really sparkly. You've got your little chibi characters. I think it's awesome. So I'd say this was released in 1997. Um, it later had some console ports, but we're looking at the we're looking at the arcade original version here. While in development, this game was known as Street Fighter Kids, which I think is also a really cool name. I could I could be totally fine with Street Fighter Kids, I think, uh, but I quite like that they just um, totally took the street out of it and called it Super Gem Fighter. Um, it's clearly a Street Fighter game, but uh, it's got characters from other Capcom games in it, um, which is awesome. You know, elements of the Versus series, but it's it's not a Versus game. Uh, it, it's cool. Let's jump straight into it because I love it. So the game's got quite a small character roster for a Street Fighter game. Um, you've actually only got 12 characters. Uh, two of them are, are, are kind of secret, but they're just selectable on the, the, the character select screen. You just press left and right on Ryu and Ken. So we've got Ryu and Ken, obviously, like we do in every game. We've got Akuma and Dan, who are the, the, the secret characters that you just easily select on the, on the main character screen. Uh, we've got Chun-Li, we've got I uh, Ibuki from Street Fighter 3, and we've got Sakura and Zangief. They're all our Street Fighter characters. The game also includes Felicia, uh, Hisenko, and Morrigan from Darkstalkers, which is really cool because Darkstalkers is amazing. Um, and we've got Tessa from Red Earth, which is this kind of fantasy fighting game that, that released uh, a year prior to uh, Super Gem Fighter. So quite a small roster, just 12 characters, but, but an, a, a nice roster in that it also includes some Darkstalkers characters and uh, Tessa from Red Earth. Interestingly, little fact, this is the first and the only Street Fighter game in existence that's got more female characters than male characters. So that's your, that's your little factoid for, for, for Super Gem Fighter. So, apart from the art style, which is obviously very different to other Street Fighter games that we've looked at, um, and we'll talk about more, more of that in a bit, the, the big change in Super Gem Fighter, and the clues in the name, is that it's got this gem system. Now, the gem system in this isn't the same gem system as we see later in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Uh, we'll get to that, it's rubbish. Uh, this gem system in, in Super Gem Fighter is, is kind of cool. Basically, uh, whenever, you, whenever you hit an opponent, uh, gems spill out of them. And, and there's other ways of getting gems, there's little chests in the, in the stage and things. But basically, you can pick up gems mid-match while, while you're fighting. And these gems are all different colours, and the different colours relate to different things. So you've got, you've got essentially, you've got kind of five power bars on the screen, which, which looks a bit overwhelming, but it, it, it's quite simple. You've got your life bar at the top, standard. You've got your super combo meter underneath, completely standard. We've seen that tons of times. And then at the bottom of the screen, every character's got three other bars. The three other bars are, are, are different colours, and each bar relates to a different special move. So one of them relates to Ryu's Hadouken, uh, one of them relates to his Hurricane Kick thing, and, uh, and one of them is his Shoryuken. So when you collect the gems that correspond to those colours, it powers up that special move, it makes it more powerful, uh, and it evolves it. So throughout the match, you're trying to collect these gems to, to make your special moves more effective. Uh, and I think that's an awesome system. It, it, it kind of adds this fun element to the match where you know gems will spill out and sometimes it'll be a massive gem which gives you tons of power and, and you, you're jumping around the screen trying to fight your opponent but also trying to get to the gems before they do. And I think for a little side game like this, I think that's a cool little addition. I, I, I probably wouldn't want it in, in a new Street Fighter 2, but, but as its own little special game, I actually really like the system. I think it's really fun. Um, yeah, I, th I just think it's great. And the way that the moves evolve means that Ryu's Hadouken will start the, the, the original blue colour and quite small. And by the end of the match, it'll be red on fire, you know, with the EX version, and it sets your opponent on fire. And it's, it's really good. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of this system. So unlike most Street Fighter games, this isn't a six-button game. This is very, very slimmed down. So you've got, uh, you've got essentially three attack buttons. You've got a punch, you've got a kick and you've got a special button. So no light punches, no medium punches, no heavy punches. You've just got punch, you've got kick, and then you've got this new special button. So the special button, uh, if, you, if you hold it down, the character will charge up an attack, which is unblockable. So very similar to, to something we see later in Street Fighter 4. But uh, yeah, you basically you're charging the move. If you hold your, um, 
if you hold your, your, your stick to any direction wh while you charge up this move, you can actually influence the colour of the gem that comes out your opponent when it hits them. So if you're trying to power up a specific move, you can use this to, if you really want red gems for example, you can, you can force them to, to, to spill red gems by holding the direction stick in, in a certain direction as you charge up your, your special attack. The special attack is just also really fun. When your character's charging it up, they'll they'll pull out some kind of big weapon, or, or they'll they'll change their character sprite will change as they charge up. So when Ken charges his up, he turns into a cowboy on the back of a horse, and when you when you when you let rip with it, the horse kicks the opponent, which is just totally weird. But in a little chibi cartoony game like this, I'm totally pro this. I think it's I think it's really cool. It's really fun. It's really funny. And it's it's interesting seeing how the different characters change when they when they charge up their uh, charge attack. The game also includes a system called flash combos, which we haven't seen before. And flash combos are basically a really simple way of doing a quick combo. So you know a lot of the things in this game are, are, are very casual based. You know they're very simple ways of, of doing things that we've seen before in Street Fighter games. Flash combos basically if you hit an opponent, then you hit kick straight after and then you hit punch you, your character will just do a kind of an auto combo basically and the fun thing about the flash combos is as your character's doing them you'll see these tons throughout the footage your character morphs into different sprites and, and kind of changes into different characters so um one big example would be chun Li. as she does her flash combo she turns into jill valentine from resident evil just a little weird thing and obviously we've seen jill valentine in marvel vs. capcom 2 so it's not completely unknown uh, in a in a capcom fighter but it's it's just odd Another little thing to note about the, the, the gameplay in, in the game, um, Super Gem Fighter is unusual uh, in Street Fighter games in that when you block attacks, even um, you know the, the, the super combos and special moves, when you block them you take no damage. So normally you take chip damage when you, um, when you block moves, uh, so, so you, don't, you don't fully block all the damage, but in Super Gem Fighter you do. If, you, if you're blocking you're taking no damage, so that's, that's nice. So obviously the art style, we can't not talk about the art style. Uh, the game looks incredible. They've done such a cool job uh, in, in, in redesigning and redrawing all these characters into this cute little, um, cute little cartoony style. I think they've done an amazing job. It obviously looks quite similar to SNK vs Capcom on the Neo Geo Pocket that we looked at a few weeks ago. Uh, this game clearly came first. But they're, you know, they're different sprites, they're not just lifted uh, directly in that game. Uh, and I, I just think they've done a, a super cool job, I love them all. Sakura looks amazing, uh, Zangief looks so good. I, I, I absolutely love the chibi design of Zangief, it's great. Um, and it's brilliant, the, the stages that they've designed, they just look so cool, they're really detailed. Um, and the fun thing about all the stages is every single stage is full of little cameos uh, of other characters from, from Street Fighter games, from Darkstalkers games, from all sorts of Capcom properties. Uh, and they're all, they're just packed into all the stages. So w when you're not playing, if you're watching somebody else play, you can just look in the background and they're just absolutely packed full of them. Every stage has got like three, four or five uh, little characters doing funny little things in the backgrounds. And I think that's awesome. So the last thing I wanted to note about Super Gem Fire is that I find it to be completely solid to play uh, single player through the arcade mode. I, I don't normally struggle this much with Street Fighter games. I'm like, I struggle to win the first match. I don't know if it's just me, maybe I'm having an off day when I record this footage. It's solid. It's really, really difficult. Um, obviously there's, there's, there's differences to, to traditional Street Fighter games in that the reach of the characters is much smaller. So you can't you can't rely on your kind of muscle memory for, for how you know what the distance is needed for a, a, a jump in heavy kick or whatever. Um, but yeah, I just found it very very difficult, and that that's fine. It's not a negative. It's just worth noting for a game that's full of very casual systems. It looks quite cartoony and quite simple. It's solid. It's really difficult, uh, but that's fine. Uh, it, it's, it's not a problem. The game is incredible. I'm a, I'm a big big fan of the game. Um, I love it. I, I, I regret not not taking a look at the game earlier. Um, and yeah, yeah, I, I just think it's it, it's one of the cool little side games. I and mean, it's not even really a side game. This is this is a mainline Street Fighter game, really. It's just it's just a side game in that it's got a different title, uh, and it's it obviously crams in like guest characters. But yeah, awesome Street Fighter game. Like real big fan of this. As always, thank you for joining me for all of the Street Fighters. Thank you for joining me for Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, consider putting a like on the video and maybe sub into the channel if you want to see more of these in future. Uh, we've still got tons of Street Fighter games to go. If you haven't watched uh, many of the older ones, 
please, please go back in the playlist and watch some of the older Street Fighter games that we've looked at. Some really fun ones, some really rubbish ones, uh, but, but generally lots of very, very good Street Fighter games. Um, I'll hopefully see you next time for, for another edition of all of the Street Fighters. Thanks for joining me. Bye, 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 bye.